What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Let's get the likes up on this video. If we get to 50 likes, I would do a pretty cool IRL on YouTube. So like up the video. Before we start talking about my breakfast, I do want to say I need to cut off ZZ Quill. After reviewing the clips, man, I'm looking like a total zombie. And that's because the ZZ Quill is still in effect. I just need to learn how to sleep normal. But anyways, uh... The brand that I use for my pancakes is Kodiak Pancakes, or Kodiak Cakes, I'm sorry, Kodiak Cakes. You can get this at Walmart, Costco, really anywhere you shop. I'm sure it's gonna be there. Um, I use coconut oil to fry it up, and that's just because I like the taste combo with the pancakes. You can use whatever oil you like. As you can see, that flick of the wrist was pretty impressive. Uh, I don't know why I left this clip on here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it, because. I'm too far in. Uh, with my eggs, I use olive oil, right? And my eggs are gonna be pastured. Again, I use olive oil for the eggs just because I like the taste with the eggs. Uh, four whole eggs, um, that's gonna be what? About four grams of protein per egg, that's 16. Not too bad, and I fry them up as you can see. Anyways, guys, that's going to be for breakfast. Enjoy the rest of this video, and don't forget to like it up. What's up, boys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, we're starting off the video with breakfast. I'm telling you, this is probably going to be the one time I show you breakfast just like this because it's always the same. We're on that robot diet to look like a robot. So we got everything just as we do every single day. We got the pancake to the left. We got the eggs to the right. And then we have a side of 100% pineapple juice. And also, as you can notice, I don't like doing dishes and everything's cardboard. It's like, bro, I calculated, it's like 10 cents a day, you know what I'm saying, to not do dishes, and I'm cool with that. Today, we have a long day ahead of us. I have a few different things that I'm going to try to add to the vlog just to make it more interesting, more relatable, you know, things like that. I might walk my dog for the first time in like six weeks, who knows. Every time I get the mail, we kind of go on a little um, no leash walk, which I don't know why. People sometimes look at Bella and they get scared. It's a golden doodle. That's like the chihuahua of the bigger dogs, you know, it's like harmless. So I don't know what people like, my neighbors, they me mug me. One guy was prepared to kick her and I was just like, bro, please kick her. Please kick her real quick. So my next door neighbor, he hit my car, bro. He backed into my car and he swears it wasn't him. Anyways, I have this nice little dent on the whip that uh, the estimate was too much. So I just bought this from freaking China. Hey, yo, chill, Bella. And I'm about to see if I can fix it myself. Oh, shoot, hold up. What the heck is this, bruh? Where did this fall from? Oh, what the heck, bruh? Ain't no way, bruh. How does this break? Bruh, golly. How does that even break like that, bruh? Where'd it go? This shit is defective, bruh. Oh, I know what I could do so this doesn't happen again. This is junk, bruh. Straight from Shanghai, bullshit at. The worst thing about this is it kind of worked. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, guys. I might be able to get this to work, hold up. There we go. Technically, this should work. Oh my gosh, it ripped, bruh. I need something stronger than this freaking nylon. There we go. I messed up my hand. I think I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna go to the gym, kind of reset and then come back and finish the job. So I was out there trying to undent my mom's car. My mom doesn't live with me, guys. My mom is retired in Brazil and she left her car at my house before y'all trolls start yapping. Uh, but man, just got me thinking, like people with no morals are the worst. 
It's like I would never do that, especially to a neighbor that you like obviously see all the time and you say hi here and there. Like that's crazy. But it is what it is. I think I had a workout just pulling that thing nonstop. I was definitely sweating, but then again, today is the hottest day of the year, so that probably played a role in it. And it's just one of those things that it sucks, but I don't think I was able to do too much, uh, too much progress. I didn't make too much progress uh, with that little pulley thing. I mean, I got some battle scars out of it, but besides that, but yeah, going to the gym, gonna get a good workout in, stay locked in, and hopefully these allergies go away. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Like sometimes when I get like a little kickstart in my workout, it goes away, but I don't know. I don't know, this one seems pretty bad. We'll see though. Man, people just don't know how to drive. Oh my gosh, people really don't, famo. It's like, some of these people, they'll just, they'll just do what they wanna do. They don't care. They'll put their signal on and just bam. Not me, I'm polite, I got manners. Music is a little bit louder than normal, so I'm a little bit sussed out if this is gonna get copyrighted or not. So I'm gonna do a little bit talking over my workouts. I'm gonna count here and there just to make sure they can't pick up the music. My first exercise I did in gym two, um, I was on TikTok Live, I did 150 pound dumbbells each hand. I did two sets of those. Of course, I worked up all the way to 150. So I think I did the first set was 50, second set was 75, third set is 100, fourth set was 130, fifth and sixth set was 150 on the dumbbells for single reps, no spotter. Now I'm coming inside and doing uh, a machine. And I always do this, guys. Like, I'll do a heavy movement my first round. Second round, I do something a little bit easier, a little bit more um, controlled and guided. Um, so this is gonna be my third set. First set was uh, 145, second set was 245. And now the third set, I added a quarter on top of the 245 pounds. But yeah, so far I'm having a really good uh, workout, really good day. And I think I'm gonna complete it here in gym two because there's a DJ at my gym. Like, I'm sure most of you guys know what Alphaland is, but if you don't, Alphaland has three different gyms in their property. Gym two is gonna be outdoor blasting music. And on top of that, it's blasting music with the DJ. So it's like, it's a club out there. Uh, but enough yapping. Let me do about eight, 10 reps on this. And I'll probably use this as my working set and hit it for five sets. Three. Five. Eight. <sighs> yeah, you, you just have to find the way where it's challenging, you know? When this game of like working out is the more you challenge yourself, the harder the workout is, the faster you're gonna see results. And we're trying to be in the fast lane. All right, fast forward to my last set. I am doing a drop set. As you guys know, doing a drop set, especially on a movement that's very effective, like this one is the best thing you can do. So I'm gonna aim for 10, 15, 20. One. Eight, nine, 10. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Ooh. One. Ooh. Four. Five. Eight. Gotta push yourself. Last set, best set. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's a W. That's a W. That's a W. That's a W. Let's go. 20 reps for one plate. Whoo. I'm telling you. Make sure you do drop sets at least once per workout. Ooh. This is a humbler right here. That's five. Woo! 
Woo. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay. Eleven. Woo. Whoa. <laughs> Woo. Thirteen and a half. Maybe. Woo. Let's get it. Uh, next, we're doing some flies. I always tell y'all boys, and I'm gonna say it one more time. If you're trying to get a bigger chest, you need to do flies. Cables, machine, dumbbells. This is what's gonna isolate your pecs and increase not only your strength, but also your size. And as you can see, I don't know why, I have always liked the bench in a slight angle. <sighs> and just nice, well controlled. And I'm gonna do as many reps as I can because I can't do a certain number from my chest being completely exhausted from my previous burnout set. Ugh. But you gotta push yourself. The more you push yourself, ugh, the more progress you're gonna see. Simple as that. If you, if you push yourself a little bit, you'll see a little bit of progress. If you push yourself a lot, you'll see a lot. Let's go. We're gonna end the workout with a machine that I have never used before here at Alpha Land. I'm pretty sure this is brand new. Haven't seen this, and it looks like it's gonna hit. So. We're going to we're going to test this out together and see what I think about this new machine at Alpha One. Ah, okay, okay. Yo, this is fire. This is fire. No, 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 bro. I'm not capping. This is fire. This hits. This machine hits. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Hold up. This might be my new favorite machine at Alpha Land. But guys, I'm not capping. This right here is my favorite machine at Alpha Land. Right here. I'm telling you, I know the ones that hit. I've been in the game for a long time, boys. This one will get you a bigger chest. All right, we got two plates now. Let's see what we got. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15. Straight W. Straight W. Straight W. As you can see, it's dark, and I've been here for a little bit too long, uh, longer than I expected, to be honest. Um, and I'm kind of ashamed to say this, but we have only had one meal, and it's already dark outside, which is a big no. So let's run and go to Chipotle so we can fix that real quick. Look how beautiful it looks at night at Alphaland. Just a good vibe. We got two Chipotle bowls, one for right now, the chicken al pastor. The other one's gonna be my last meal. It's gonna be the sofritas. It's vegan, it's easier to put down, and I'm a very bad eater. I get full very easily, and I'm gonna need something lighter to get my last meal in. Um, I have the fajita veggies on the side, making sure I get my greens on both, and I'm sipping it down with some pineapple juice. It's kind of funny, I started drinking these pineapple juice just so I can slowly cut off those energy drinks, and it worked. But now, I'm addicted to these, and I have to have these with every meal. So, it is what it is, at least there's, there isn't any caffeine in there, and I'll be able to go to sleep just fine. Um, real quick, guys, I don't wanna show you guys me eating this, however, I do wanna talk about you boys staying locked in, and maximizing every opportunity you get, all right? So, for the ones who don't know, 
I have built a nice community on TikTok, but TikTok honestly is more algorithm based. And at the time when I was popping, when I was getting like 100,000 total views per live stream, I wasn't maximizing that opportunity, right? I was just okay with having those numbers on TikTok and I never pushed them out to Instagram or YouTube, none of that. And now on my second come up, right? I mean, I'm still not there yet, but today we had our best stream ever with 5,000 total view. No, sorry, 5,000 peak viewers. So one time, 5,000 people being there and 40,000 total viewers. Um, this time around, I'm gonna make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, which is maximizing my opportunity. And I'm gonna start pushing all boys over here and hopefully, hopefully uh, we can uh, make this a pretty nice community soon. So with saying that guys, uh, I wanna, one more announcement I wanna tell you guys about. I wanna continue posting every single day However, I need a minimum of 20 minutes worth of content to be able to post. So if I don't have a minimum of 20, then I'm gonna combine the days until I do. So if I have a super eventful day or I'm filming all this content, then I'll be able to post every day, but if not, then it's gonna be maybe two or three days. So I just kinda wanna, you know, kinda keep you guys updated on how often our videos are coming out. But yeah, I yapped long enough, I'm hungry and I'm gonna get to Eden. Let me show you guys at least real quick what I got for, oh yeah, this is the right one. Dang, homie gave me a baby scoop. Just got out the shower. As you can see, every time I condition my hair after shampooing, I rock this afro for a little bit. But <laughs> this is why I be wearing hats a lot. But um, yeah, guys, it's gonna conclude this video. I'm about to eat that last Chipotle bulk, so I gotta make sure you know that I'm about this bulk. It's more of a lean bulk than anything, but with saying that, guys, appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna stay locked in. I'm telling you, boys, I'm gonna start putting out some amazing content. Some, I just need to get someone to record me and then it's game over. So I'm gonna find someone to do that. And then I'm going to bring the energy out. You guys already know I will. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Stay winning. Nothing, bro. Well, just wait. Page Nothing, bro. I'm burning my thing. Nothing, bro. I'm going to go back to plucking. What y'all boys think? What y'all boys think? What y'all boys think? Stay winning. <laughs>